AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Siemens PLM Software, transforming the process of innovation. Here are today's top headlines. The Senate rejects a bailout bill, SAIC could buy Saturn, and traffic fatalities drop to their lowest levels in nearly half a century. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Friday, December 12, 2008, and now the news. As I'm sure you've all heard already, the effort to provide a bridge loan to GM and Chrysler collapsed in the U.S. Senate last night, and it all came down to getting the UAW to cut its labor costs to match the transplants. As we reported here yesterday, there's a group of conservative Republican senators who are trying to break the union's back. They maneuvered the union into a corner to cut wages and benefits next year, but the UAW said no. And it may end up getting blamed for the failure in the court of public opinion. So what's next? WWJ is reporting that Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm is starting an effort to convince President Bush to tap into the $700 billion TARP fund to provide GM and Chrysler with enough money to get them through the first quarter of next year. And here's more bad news for GM. It could lose up to 40% of its dealers if GMAC goes bankrupt. Bloomberg reports that GMAC lacks the funding needed to become a bank and free up more money for dealer financing. If GMAC can't become a bank, it can't be eligible for the $700 billion in TARP funds, and that is why they're talking about bankruptcy. GasGoo.com, the Chinese automotive website, is reporting that one of China's largest automakers will buy Saturn from General Motors. SAIC, or the Shanghai Automotive Industry Corporation, wants to acquire Saturn. The U.S. Department of Transportation reports that traffic deaths in the United States dropped 10% through October compared to 2007. If the trend continues, it could be the lowest level in the 42 years since NHTSA has been keeping track. Typically, traffic fatalities go down during recessions because people aren't driving as much. But this is a dramatic drop-off. Coming up next in our feature story, we'll look at vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications technology from Nissan. Siemens, transforming the process of innovation. Nissan is demonstrating four features to improve traffic safety by keeping the driver informed and making sure the vehicle is in control at all times. The first is called signal violation warning. It visually and audibly warns the driver if he or she does not brake when approaching a red light. The system calculates when the vehicle will arrive at the intersection and issues a warning if an accident is imminent. The second feature is cross-traffic notification. This warns a driver at an intersection of any unseen cross-traffic. Warnings are generated based on information received from other vehicles and the distance to the intersection. The next feature works similarly to the cross-traffic notification, except it warns the driver when in the left turn lane if there's any oncoming traffic. And the last is called Cooperative Intelligent Cruise Control. This applies the brakes and brings the vehicle to a complete stop at a red light if the driver, for whatever reason, fails to do so. These technologies were developed by Nissan in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Transportation. The systems use short-range communications technology between roadside equipment, onboard equipment, and GPS technology. Well, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Time for our trivia contest. This week, we're giving away an exclusive AutoLine Detroit t-shirt and baseball cap. We asked, who made this concept car? I know it's a tough one, but this is the Alfa Romeo Castagna from 1914. But if you just said Alfa Romeo, that was good enough for us. As always, my crack team has chosen the winner at random from our list of subscribers. Pookie, the envelope, please. <laughs> Down there. And the winner is Glenn Kroos of Marion, Iowa. Congratulations, Glenn. Don't forget, today starts a new trivia contest. You'll only find it in our email newsletter, so sign up today for your chance to win. Oh, and one more thing before we go. We're going to do a special live webcast on Monday. I'll be taking your questions 
about the bailout effort in Washington. That's 1 p.m. Eastern or 1800 Greenwich Mean Time for those of you who are watching outside of the United States. Monday, December 15th, right here. Check it out, y'all. Anyway, that's it for today's show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. AutoLine Extra, Don's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutoLineDetroit.tv.